So when the pronouns are coming, uh, we have to now learn about the pronouns. Okay. What is pronoun, brother? In Arabic we call it damir. Remember? Huh? And damir is also ism. Huh? In the group of ism, damir comes. Huh? Why? It comes in the group of ism. Because it also has dundandin. Anything has dundandin is ism. Are you with me? Okay. We are going to learn the marfu form of is, uh, damir. Marfu form of pronoun. We are going to learn. Marfu form of pronoun. Okay, we are going to learn. Now, pronoun is a word used as a substitute for a noun. So that you don't repeat noun all the time. Or a pronoun stand in place of nouns to avoid repeating it. Huh? If I say to you, Muhammad came and Muhammad said and Muhammad ate and Muhammad read, brother, it doesn't sound nice to your ear. What I will say, <coughs> Muhammad came and he said, and he ate. Now that makes much easier. And it's nicer to the ear. So the pronouns come instead of nouns so that we avoid repeating it. Okay? Fine. How many kinds of pronouns? Okay? In a different way. Okay, brother? A pronoun that refers or includes the speaker. The pronoun that refers to the speaker. Huh? In English we call it first person pronoun. It refers to the speaker. We call it first person pronoun. Can you tell me, give me an example of first person pronoun? I and we. Huh? Okay. A pronoun that refers to the hearer. Huh? Second person. And then pronoun that refers to somebody who is not in front of us, who is in other room or away, we call it third person. Are you with me, brother? It is amazing in, Urdu, in Arabic language, brother. We always start the pronoun with the third person. We start with third person. And all the verbs uh, in its first form, in the verb, when you take it in its original form, it is always past tense and it will always say he it won't say she now don't blame me I didn't invent anything <laughs> that's the way the language is it comes with he when we talk about verbs we'll, we'll do it. But, it but in pronouns we also start with he are you with me? now what is he? it's a singular it's a third person and what else it is? Masculine. Masculine. Masha now brothers and sisters, in Arabic language, either a thing has to be a masculine or feminine. feminine. No in, in, in between. <laughs> no. Uh, no in between. Either he or she. Anything has to be pair. Okay? So we start with singular he. Then in Arabic language, Brothers and sisters, we have something very special. Because Arabic is very precise. When you say two, you mean two. Okay? In English, we say he, and then we say they. <clears throat> uh, even if there are two, they, you say they. But in Arabic, if there are two, you mean two, and not three. When you say they, it means Three or more than three. If it is less than three, then it is two. And that is dual. Okay? So we have in Arabic language, singular, huh? and then dual, and then plural. Okay, brother? I'll write down. Huh? Singular, 
and then we have dual and then plural. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Today, we will learn only third person. And then tomorrow, inshallah, we will learn the rest of it. And I've got a small song for it. I'll be singing for the next few days. And that will also hammer in your mind the pronouns, brother. Okay? Now, it's amazing, brother, how the Arabic language is, honestly. This is the palm of my hand. Huh? Four fingers and thumb. And in each finger, there are three sections. Are you with me? Okay. So if I say masculine, then I have first section singular, dual, and plural. Isn't it amazing, brother? I think it is. I should say in the language of uh, our children, it's cool. <laughs> okay. Number second finger. Let's make it feminine. This was masculine. We make it feminine. So again, singular, dual, plural. So these two fingers, peace, these two fingers are for third person. And then the next two fingers are for the second person. Same thing, masculine and feminine. And this thumb, brothers and sisters, this thumb is for first person. But then there are only two sections. So in, in thumb we have only singular and plural. Okay, fine. Okay, brothers and sisters, we start now the third person. It's called What is it called? al ghair no, Again, those with Urdu, they have an advantage. What is the meaning of Ghaib? He's absent. He's not here. Huh? Okay, which means somebody not in front of us. We are talking about somebody who is not here with us. Third person. Huh? We call it third person. We start with singular. What is the singular, brother? What is it, brothers and sisters? Huwa. What is next one? Dual. Huma. And what is plural, brothers and sisters? Hum. So he, they two, two, huh? And then they. Okay? Now this is, as you know, it is masculine. Huh? Okay, we call it muzakkar. Okay, and then we come to muannas. Maybe I should write down here al muzakkar. Please write down al muzakkar next to it. And then I will write down uh, this is al muzakkar, brother. And then I'll write down here. Muannas. Okay. And then it will become here. And then Huma again. And then Hunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It is Hunna. So what is the difference between Mutaka and Muannas? Muannas. Feminine, brother. Huh? Muannas is feminine. This is masculine, brother. Huh? And this is feminine. Now, you have the handout. Would you like to go to the handout, brother and sisters? I think it's page number six or seven. Uh, 
वन मोर ब्रदर मोहम्मद राइट दे पेज नंबर नाइन पेज नंबर नाइन ओके ओके ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स हियर वी आर फर्स्ट फिंगर जस्ट लाइक दस बी फर्स्ट सेक्शन हुआ सेक्शन सेकेंड सेक्शन हुआ थर्ड सेक्शन हुम सेकेंड फिंगर फेमिनिन हिया हुमा हुन इज इट इफ यू नो इट देन आई कैन डू द होल थिंग बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट ग्रेजुअली देन वी विल ओनली डू दिस हुआ हुमा हुम हिया हुमा हुन आर यू विथ मी ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स हुआ हुमा हुम Yeah, huma hun. Are you with me? But if you already know a little bit of Arabic, then you know the next one is muhatab. What is it, brothers and sisters? Muhatab. Huh? Al muhatab. There is a fata there. This is second person, huh? and this is your first person. No, third person. I beg your pardon. third person okay since you have it in your uh, handouts brother it's easy for you to see there what will be the second person brother and sisters masculine anta are you with me anta next one antuma and plural antum what will be the fourth finger mas feminine anti antuma antun are you with me brothers and sisters huh? and then mutakallim ana and nahnu huh? because you know it i'm not writing it brothers and sisters huh? but uh, uh, sister salma do you know the second person anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna and then ana and then we got to memorize it and you got to use your finger it will help you just like taking out tasbih huh? ha huh? okay you will remember okay ready huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antum antum anta antum antum anti antum antunna anti antum antunna ana nahnu ana nahnu huwa huma hum Hiya huma hunna. If you want to sing with me, you are welcome to sing, brother. We'll we'll sing in a chorus now. Inshallah, in a couple of days, you will <laughs> you will be singing in your car, <laughs> or uh, you know, while you are taking shower, you will be singing. Hua huma hum. Hiya huma hunna. Hua huma hum. Hiya huma hunna. अंत अंतुम अंतुम अंत अंतुम अंतुम अंति अंतुम अंतुन अंति अंतुम अंतुन अना नहु अना नहु हुआ हुमा हुम हिया हुमा हुन्ना Huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna. Got the idea, brother? Okay. So huwa huma hun, hiya huma hunna. Anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna. Ana nahu. Brother, try to memorize it. Okay. try to memorize it now what are these pronouns brothers and sisters these are called 
Damirun Munfasilun. What are they? Damirun. It's written there, huh? Padasan. Damirun Munfasilun. Okay, what is the meaning of Munfasilun? They are detached. Like a house which is detached. Nothing attached to it. Detached. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So they come on their own. They will stand on their own. And brother, all of them are, are you listening? All of them are dun. What are they are? It means they are marfu. They are all marfu. Okay? They are marfu. They will come as a muptada. Most of the time. They will come as a muptada. Huh? Okay? Here is an example. Ana mudarrisun. How will you translate? I am a teacher. So what is Ana? Muptada. Mashallah. Because if you say Ana means I, I want to tell you I know that. <laughs> okay? More than that it is Muptada. And Muptada is always Marfu. And it is definite. Are you with me brothers and sisters? So these pronouns are definite. And they are all marfu. There is a different form for mansu. Okay? This form, we call it damirun munfasilun. Please say with me three times. Munfasilun. 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 Damirun munfasilun. Means detached pronoun. Standing on its own. And they will come, they are all marfu, they will come as a okay.